What's going on everybody? Not to lover XOX here. Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. We are on the Normandy. We are gonna go to the Citadel and talk to the Citadel Council and uh uh crack. Um alright. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Hey Kaden. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Whatever's going on, the Captain can handle it. Absolutely, Commander. Anything else before we head ashore? We're headed for the Citadel. When we get done with business, you and I should work out a Liberty rotation. Some of the crew could use it, Commander. Cool beans. All right, and we need to go talk to uh, Dr. Chakbas. How you doing? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Yeah, uh, sure. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Yeah, I should go. You're boring me. Goodbye, Commander. You're boring me, Dr. Chocolate. You're boring me. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who has awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. You're welcome. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go talk to Seth Green. Uh, that elevator. That elevator is the bane of my existence. It takes forever to go downstairs. You're like, activate elevator. All right, let me put my controller down, walk in the other room, watch the entirety of Braveheart, come back, and I'll be halfway there. Fuck that elevator. <laughs> Fucking hate that elevator so much. <laughs> it's the slowest piece of shit. Ugh, I hate it. Hello, Joker, how are you? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Good. Bring me into the Citadel. Let's do it. Activate ludicrous speed first. Mass relay. Hello. Citadel. Oh my. Oh my. That's the Citadel. That's a. Uh, that's badass. God. Ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? <laughs> I'm just saying you need firepower, too. <laughs> Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Town. Alliance operator. Alliance operator. That's what you do. That's how we do. Transfer me to an Alliance operator. Oh shit, my fucking... Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dark 422. Should the captain be up here? Oh, and by the way, the, the guy who does the voice for Captain Julius... Julius, Captain Anderson. Captain Anderson, 
is fucking Julius in Saints Row. <laughs> Captain Julius? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> My bad. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? He's pissed. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Well, shit. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> I agree with you there, Ashley. Alright, let's uh, fucking go. Important locations, I don't really give a shit, because fucking common sense knowledge crap. Easy decryption. Fucking decrypt. Wow, that was easy. It was easy decryption. Don't care about any of what that has to say at all. Um, I haven't quite decided yet on whether I will do all of the, um, <sighs> all the side missions in this game. I'm definitely not going to do all of them, because I'm not going to search planet by planet by planet by planet by planet by planet. I'm not going to talk to Cortana. Planet by planet, fucking trying to find Turian insignias and shit. It's fucking useless, and it's no fun, and it's dumb, and it doesn't make for a very good video. So I'm not going to do that, because it's ridiculous. I will do some side missions. The important ones. Uh, but not all of them. So, yeah. Just so we're clear on that. Let's go talk to the council. Hello, Vakarians. Garrus? Garrus Vakarian. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Hi. Garrus. You... Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Yeah, hopefully they will, because if they don't listen to me, then... I'll go crazy. I'll shoot the place up. Oh yeah, you can also fucking pull your gun out. Get all the Citadel. No one gives a shit at all. They don't seem to care at all. You can't actually shoot people, because then you fucking like, put your gun up like, Hey, I'm not gonna shoot you. Kinda dumb. Kinda ridiculous. Look at this fucking dude, he's like, swagger. Don't look at me! <laughs> Don't look at me like that! Stupid dude. Damn guy. That is a... That is a bug. Terrifying looking bug. Hello, Julius. The hearing's already started, come on! Oh shit, I'm late. I didn't expect to be late. Sorry. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. 
An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Well, shit. <laughs> Fucking Udina just standing there all depressed by himself, like, fuck! <sighs> well, damn it. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right, well, crap. Damn, guys. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. Pulled my gun out in the middle of the Citadel. Didn't do, didn't do that. Promise. Wasn't my fault. Wasn't my fault. Yeah. What guy? The one over by the Keeper. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keep- Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. 
Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper, all collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Yeah, fucking scanning keepers. I'm not gonna scan all the keepers because I don't feel like running around the fucking citadel find all the keepers. I know where most of them are off the top of my head. No, I'm waiting. I'll talk to Rear Admiral Kohoku in a minute after I scan this keeper. Hello, Kohoku. Let me talk to you about something. No, Commander. Or not talk to him at all. I guess we'll talk to Kohoku later or never. Actually, I do want to talk to Kohoku because there's a mission that has to tie in with the next two games. Actually, pretty big mission. I don't know why they made that a side mission. They should have made that, if not a main mission, at least a, a not like a, requ a required mission. It's an important mission, but they made it a side mission because they're dumb, stupid guys. I'll go scan this keeper up here. Shut up, Kate. I really don't want to talk to you, Kaden, at all. I have no desire to speak to you. No desire to speak to you at all. Just fucking scan the keepers. Scan the keepers. Alright. So. Now that I've scanned all the keepers up here, let's go find Garrus. Oh, excuse me. Um. Ah, goddamn. Okay, so the best way to get to Garrus is through Harkin. Uh, I don't, I don't care about anything that they have to say at all. I don't care. Okay, so let's go fucking talk to, uh, Harkin. Harkin. Uh, I forgot where Harkin is. Oh, he's in the, he's in the lower waters near the bottom. Alright. Into the Presidium. Elevator. I never noticed how white I made Natsu in this game. I didn't fucking... She looks like a ghost in that light. <laughs> God. She looks fine normally, but in this elevator, she looks ridiculous. God, Lord. I can't believe the Council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. That is really okay, quiet. So now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. <laughs> Fucking Ashley doesn't like politics at all. I can I can tell. It's very obvious to me. Fucking elevator music. Alright. We're in the Presidium. Open the door. Alright, so now we have to go to the um Please do not disturb. I'm disturbing the I'll disturb the keeper all I want, Cortana. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. 
There is no intent to cause trouble. Uh -huh. I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message. Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchase the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Okay. I don't do care. you desire to learn of the no, Inkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is I don't, too I don't care. This one only wishes to spread the truth well, to any I'm, I, I'll I be back. I can't do the This the one will continue to spread its message. Obviously, because I don't have charm or intimidate. Uh, I'll do it when I come back. Let's fucking go to the wards and talk to Harkin. Damn Harkin. Damn guy. To the wards! Another elevator. Activate elevator. Just in an elevator. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Well, it, it doesn't help that uh, it was attacked by the Geth. Geth are bad. Geth are bad. I don't like them. All right, let's go this way. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his Oh, that's the the dude. There's a keeper in here. Keepers. Keepers. <laughs> Elevator down. Fucking elevators. There's so many elevators. It's a Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the <laughs> dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Diplomatic solutions are good. Non- Diplomatic solutions are bad. Very bad. What would you call a non-diplomatic solution? A violent solution. I have no idea what I'm even saying at this point. Fuck it, let's go talk to fucking Harkin. Scan the Keeper. Oh god. BTO. That was weird. Opens a door. Loading game. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that was odd. Oh god! Assassino! Those are the assassins. We must be Templars. Fuck! God. Oh. Oh yeah. Hi, Asari strippers. Can, oh my God. Yeah. Lap dance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well. Just, uh, alright, well, that's enough of that. That's enough, uh, enough of that. Alright, well, this is, uh, I like this place. Hello, patron. Back off, Rex. 
Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. <laughs> this is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Yeah, probably a good idea. Harkin, how you doing? Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Cause I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. We'll see where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. Oh. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. I'm looking for a CSEC officer. A Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? <laughs> I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it, please. All right. Well, that's an interesting piece of information, if it actually is true. I've never actually found out whether that's true or not, but I don't know. Uh, I'll level that up. I'll level that up. And I want to up my... Yeah, I want to up this. I will auto level you, and we'll auto level you. And cool. That's good enough time to end an episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like. Be sure to sort of be sure to subscribe, because uh, that will help me greatly. And then you can be my friend, and we can go uh, out to parties and stuff. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> when we come back, we will be doing whatever we'll be finding Garrus and stuff. So, that's Rob in the episode. So, see you guys later. Bye bye. Activate.